segment of the BTS vlog, yeah, Big Bang Theory, all this BTS, BTS vlog, uh, I'm not g getting up, I'm actually going to be going to bed in, in a few minutes, Oh, let me give you a time and date stamp, it's April 24th, because today is now Sunday, and yesterday was April 23rd, but it's barely into Sunday, so... It is two hours and fourteen minutes into Sunday, April twenty fourth, two thousand sixteen. Let's say happy birthday to my niece Olivia. It's her birthday today. Uh, later on during the day, probably sometime around two, three o'clock in the afternoon, we'll be going over the house to uh, celebrate her birthday. So, oh, it was. I went shopping today, you guys will sort of see that I went shopping, if you like, it's either going to be in this video or the video previ uh, previous to this one, um, or prior to this this video. Uh, and, as usual, within two hours, uh, two, you know, two, two and a half hours, the adrenaline kicked off because I had eaten. And as the adrenaline kicked off, the pain, the uh, soreness, not necessarily the pain, but the soreness, uh, kicked in and uh, uh, I ended up having to go to bed. And I didn't sleep for too long. I think it was uh, just about four hours and I got up around uh, well, 7.38 p.m. and uh, started the next chunk of my day. And I'm just now finishing, so... About six hours. Yeah, I, I always go a little bit longer than I that I intend to. I actually got some filming done. I didn't have to get as much filming as I did got as I intended to get done, but it was oh, a good chunk. So, and I'm getting more used to sort of setting up the camera, making sure that everything's uh, aimed properly. So I now I now know that I can actually do that without. Uh, not having to worry about we're moving the camera too much so I can use it for uh, other I can take the camera to other areas and film in other areas and not necessarily worry about uh, uh, not having it placed properly so uh, anyways uh, I think I'm gonna leave this here for now I'm gonna be keep it short simply because I am tired and I do have to get up again in just about five hours uh, to go to church in the morning. It's Palm Sunday. It's uh, Greek Palm Sunday. So, and next week will be uh, Greek Easter, and you'll see some changes in the uh, in the show, particularly in the opening segment. Anyways, <clears throat> I will see you then. Take it easy, and uh, see you in the next segment of uh, Big Bang Theory. I'll speak to you as vlog. All right, take it easy. Yeah. Wow, well, good morning everybody. Yeah. Uh <laughs> I can say good morning in this segment because well it is morning. I don't know whether or not this is gonna be the beginning of another video or not. Uh sometimes we seem to be caught in between. What this camera does when the file gets too long in terms of our, our discussion here, uh it splits it up into two different files. So uh, uh and sometimes it's simply too long to put the entire thing in, you know, for the half-hour format. So, uh, that's the way things go. Uh, it it, it kind of gives you, that kind of uh, editing gives you a feel for what, the way things go on here. 
Uh, you're not always able to finish things in the time you set out. Uh, <coughs> so, uh, let me give you a time and date stamp while, we're, uh, while I'm thinking about it. It is 9 hours and 22 minutes into the day of Monday, April 25th, 2016, yeah. Uh, yesterday was a long day. Uh, well, it, it was a long-ish day, but it wasn't that bad, actually, with all things considering. Uh, I was significantly more awake. Uh, I had a good time at my niece's house, Olivia. So, oh, that's my, my brother's daughter. Uh, so I'll say happy birthday to my niece, Olivia. She's 18 now, and making her decisions as uh, to where she's going after high school. You know, she's uh, planning on uh, university college, and uh, seems to be going into the health sciences direction. So, yay for that! <laughs> uh, as for myself, I've got a fair uh, a fair load to do today. Uh, things are picking up. Uh, I did some f uh, filming over the weekend. Uh, I still have more to do, uh, and I also have uh, channel organization work to do. I have to start working, doing some more administration work on the channels, uh, bring things more together. It the 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 research that I did on uh, done on uh, Thursday Friday that sort of got me into the state that I was in uh, left me thinking all weekend long. It was it, it was rather a large chunk of good quality information that, that had me thinking a lot. So, uh, there will be consequences to what I found, to what I was working on, that will sort of uh, move, I think, move things along faster, provide a little bit more content. It just, and again, it's, it's, you, you, it's the discussion of people who, or the observation of people who say they're telling the truth but really they're giving their opinions. And in their opinions, as they, just say, as they state how open and intellectual they are, finding their path, finding their truth, are astonished at the ignorance of others. And in many ways intolerant of that. Because it, it, you know they don't necessarily come across as angry, but if they come across as mocking or as uh, uh, derogatory, uh, this is certainly a sense of status, a sense of self in comparison to others. Yet, at the same time, where they approve and where they disapprove is along the lines of their own thought. So, in other words, they go out and challenge other people's thoughts, but yet have their own thoughts and ideas not challenged. They, go, they become offended if their thoughts and ideas are Well, I have no need to defend myself. Well, if you go out and say you're challenging the status quo, then of course you're going to be challenged. That should be expected to be challenged. And if, if you really do believe what you've done, and you've not good, done a, a good amount of research, and you've sort of, you're an objective allowing the research to dictate what you're, what you're understanding to what you're seeing, and not putting your own prejudices on it, then your concept will stand. Your ideas will stand. Your, your, and this is your observation of, you know, if this, is, if this should be the case, your observation of reality will stand. They'll have their, they may initially win the argument, but if over a period of time, you'll see through observation that you were right. And so in many ways, there's no, for me, uh, for, from my observation, there's no need really to argue uh, any particular point in terms of getting into uh, to a, uh, a verbal punching match. Ugh. There's two forms of argue. There's a academic argument, which is simply your counter statement. There's no uh, emotional inflection in this. There's no emotional attachment to it. Uh, and then there's the argument that has the emotional attachment, that has the anger, that has the excitement, that has the uh, the the passion behind it, if you will. Um, 
those are two different forms of arguments. The passionate argument uh, is more often than not, ne not necessarily the, the uh, academic argument is more often, more often than not your passionate argument is the argument that uses emotion to get your point across rather than simply the academic point. <sighs> now, <laughs> this is where I forgot where I'm going with this, but uh, uh, <coughs> tangents do happen and uh, if you sit back and observe, and you think this is a whole discussion here, if you're observant, then the academics, your the understanding without emotion will emerge. And it will be obvious to a variety of different people. Now there will be people who it's obvious to, and it benefits. But because of their uh, pride, they will ignore this and state, well, I didn't see that. In other words, they'll be in not denial. And uh, to understand denial, I have to do is go back and look at uh, the early uh, Donald Trump Apprentice uh, program, the uh, TV show. Look for uh, a person named Omarosa, and you will see denial on camera, videotaped. With videotape evidence presented to her of what occurred under, under certain incidences. She insisted on her own version of reality, regardless of what was actually shown on the tape. That is denial. That is ignorance. Because ignorance means to be means to ignore. It's not what you don't understand. It, ignorance, by definition, is the things you ignore. Uh, that's and that's why ignore is the root word of ignorance. If you want to get into the grammar of it and the semantics, um, so I'm gonna leave this here. Uh, <laughs> I do need to get something to eat. I'm still a bit tired, but that's the way. That's the way it always is. I mean, I, I don't think you always uh, always finish resting. You don't sort of catch up with your sleep at all. You just in you're in in, in somewhat better condition or somewhat worse condition. You sort of uh, have that balance going for you. So. Uh, anyways, uh, I will uh, leave this here for now. I will be coming back later on, let you know so what the progress is, sort of midday. And then I'll also be going to church tonight, so we'll see what happens then. Alright, I'll see you in the next segment of uh, Big Bang Theory, or else BTS vlog. Alright. Well, hello everybody. Uh, welcome back to the next segment of Big Bang Theory, or else BTS vlog. Uh... It's been a bit of time since I've logged. Well, about a day or so. I took uh, Tuesday off. And when I take my time off like that, all I do is sleep. So, uh, <laughs> there's not much to vlog when I'm sleeping. So, well, I can't actually vlog while I'm sleeping. <laughs> Unless there's some way to figure out to do that, how, how to do that, how to vlog while I'm in my dreams. But, uh... Uh, that's currently not uh, possible, so <laughs> I do have to organize my fridge before I go, so I'll do that. Um, let me give you a time and date stamp. It is 11 hours and 25 minutes into the day of uh, Wednesday, April, I think, 25th, uh, 2016. I had just checked the date, but now it's sort of slipped my mind. As I said before, that's what happens sometimes. That you have something in your mind, and then uh, the way things end up going, you forget all about it within five minutes. That's kind of uh, what's happened here is that within five minutes of uh, checking within five minutes checking the date I had already forgotten it
There we go. Everything's all set now. When I come back, it'll be easy just to plop everything in the fridge, you know. Because I've done all the moving now, and that means when I come back, I won't have to do the moving. So now it's just a matter of uh, uh, putting my backpack on. I don't, I don't need to wear anything else because uh, uh, I do have to get my keys in the wallet. But other than that, uh, nothing else really needs to be done. So I'll do this, put my wallet and keys in. And now it's normally just to put the backpack on. Right? Ice packs and backpack. But I do have to go to the bathroom one last time, so before I go, and uh, I'll end up going to do that. So I'll see you when I come back. I'm back. <laughs> yeah. I'm back. Now I'll take the load off. I got it situated right. Heavier than I expected, but uh, I found some good sales. Whoa! Let me give you a time and date stamp. It's 12 hours and 59 minutes into the day of Wednesday, April 27th. 2016. Yeah, I was off on my date. That's that, that you know, what, what happens is when you start, uh, <laughs> I think it's either way. When you're busy working and you don't notice the time, the days disappear. And so your days are off. When you rest and sleep and you're out for a couple of days, the same thing occurs. And because that's what's happening here. Oh, yeah, I'm rested and uh, I've been sleeping more, but my view of time was significantly off. So I was off by, uh, as I said, the 25th, the 27th, so I'm off by two days. You know, that's, that's basically the time I was up. Monday and Tuesday, I was kind of out. Uh, the... I began sort of being very sluggish on Monday. Oof. Hot. Yeah, I started being sluggish on Monday. And so then by the, the, by the time I got into the day of Monday, I was sleeping more often than not. And that continued on Tuesday. Still wasn't sort of feeling up to... Uh, doing things on Tuesday and so uh, here we are on Wednesday so yeah that's what that's what happens with time if you're not paying attention to the time or uh, for, for whatever reason uh, then uh, then you kind of forget what's going on. So let's start unpacking. We'll have a bit of a discussion. Uh, a lot of people view, have been writing and viewing this, uh, these videos as uh, self-help and doing stuff that's, you know, healthy for you.
yes, what I'm doing is healthy for me. But it's not about... Uh, it's actually not about self-help or, um, uh, or or anything along those li lines, really. What it is, if I can explain this, Reorganize some things in the fridge. Yeah, it's not really self help. It is medical research. So, what happens is that most medical research occurs within a laboratory. And the primary function is something known as drug discovery. And drug discovery, well, it has its uses. I'm certainly not knocking drug discovery because it is an important part of what we do in the medical industry in terms of uh, medical research. It's not the end all and be all. It shouldn't be. But yet, unfortunately, this is the way uh, medical research treats uh, 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 called pharmaceutical research that everything is designed to be for the pharmaceutical industry. And anything that's not part of the, that doesn't benefit the pharmaceutical industry is very simply ignored and written off as, well, grandma's old medicine. Well, the problem is, is that when you're talking about grandma's old medicine, you're talking about medicine that goes back a couple thousand years and we know from Egyptian history, from, Egypt, from the Egyptian history, from, from uh, archaeology, the, the ancient Egyptians knew how to do surgery, and so did, uh, so did uh, the, ancient, the ancient Chinese. So all the ancient cultures, the, the, uh, called the cultures of antiquity, they, under, they understood... Uh, what we would say modern surgical medicine. They didn't have all the technology that we have in terms of life support and whatever, but they were able to do a, an amazing amount for the, for the equipment that they had at the time. And this is sort of, sort of highlighted where uh, we go back and take a look at what was done in the old Soviet Union. Taking our assumption that we are superior to everybody else and that uh, the Soviet Union was back in the Stone Ages. You know. If you look at some of the research that was done in some of the medical surgeries, uh, there is uh, people I know who were in that sphere, who had cardiac surgery when they were there. The doctors refused to go in to today to resolve problems because the, the work that was done by the Soviets back then was so good, they don't know how it was done. So, this goes to show you we, we shouldn't dismiss 
uh, uh, another view simply because we don't think it's significant. Matter of fact, this is not proper science. Proper science is you're supposed to follow the research wherever it takes you, not decide for yourself this is worthwhile and this is not worthwhile. And so this is why I'm doing going doing medical, medical research, and I'm not really actually it's not really medical research uh, for those who are concerned about so he's doing medical research without a license and blah 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 blah. Well, no, because there is no such thing as medical research. It's organic chemistry. And this is what I'm talking about. It's organic chemistry inside you, in the place it's found, inside the human body, inside of life. It's taking the laboratory view of organic chemistry and bringing it into the body. There are things become a lot more complex. So this is the research that's being done. And there have been successes here. I've been able to reprogram the immune system to a certain degree. I've been able to regrow bone even into later in life. Uh, and I think it's some of these research, some of this, these ideas that I've been working on, uh, and concepts and, 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 and uh, things that I've, from what I've observed, they've been observed by other researchers. So it's not just myself that's doing this work, but I see other people uh, making a little bit inroads here, a little bit inroads there, uh, but they don't get there that far because they never get any funding for it. Uh, I'm independent of most of these uh, funding sources, so. Uh, I deal with things on my own. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, I'm all unpacked. I'm going to sit down, have relax, have something to eat. And then later on tonight, I'll be going to church. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, the last week of Easter week for, for Greek Easter. And, uh, oh, the cool, cool thing is we're almost getting caught up uh, on, our, uh, on our vlogs. The days between the... Uh, filming and the uploading are shrinking so yay for that so uh, yeah I think within the next two weeks will be uh, on point so there'll be uh, just a couple days difference between date when they're shot and when they're uh, uploaded so yeah <laughs> I think I've run out of things to say I right, will see you in the next segment of uh, Big Bang Theory L's BTS Vlogs alright take it easy Democratic Earth. Earth.